hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you using stored procedure in MVC how to insert data with entity framework before writing the coding part in Visual Studio first we'll create the table and store procedure in SQL Server I'm expanding the databases the sample DB is my user database I'm expanding that one the tables I'm expanding that one I'm creating a new table right click the tables new table I'm creating the table user registration so user ID the data type I'm giving integer data type and check the alumnals username and varchar 50 and check user email id and varchar 50 and i'm making user id column auto increment identity specification is identity s let's save the table user reg click ok I'm refreshing the tables and notice here we got dbo.user registered table let's browse the table select top thousand rows In this user reg table contains zero rows at this moment. Let's create a stored procedure to insert the records. To expand the programmability, right click the stored procedure, new stored procedure. I'm deleting the default code. I'm creating a stored procedure, create procedure dbo dot user insert is my store procedure name at username and varchar 50 comma at user email and varchar 50 as begin insert into the table name is dbo dot user reg the column names expand this one and the column names username and user email username comma user email values at username these ones at user email and let's execute to create the store procedure command completed successfully let's refresh the store procedures folder and here we got our newly created user insert store procedure up to now we have created the table and the store procedure now it's a coding part. Let's open the Visual Studio. I'm creating a new project for this tutorial. I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The name I'm giving, the name is MVC Insert Entity Framework Stored Procedure. Click OK. And I'm choosing MVC click OK and we got a message here congratulations we have created a project let's close this open the solution explorer I'm creating a data entity model right click the project name add new item I'm choosing data adword.net entity data model the model name is 
user model add I'm choosing the first option click next click new connection to connect my SQL server database the server name is user after adding the server name the database name I'm selecting sample DB test connection is succeed at click OK OK before continuing the next I'm changing my SQL connection entity is user DB entities and saving this connection string in web.config file click next choosing the tables expand the DBO and our table name is user iPhone Rash. I'm selecting that one at this moment I'm only selecting the table I'm not selecting any store procedures and functions click finish and here we got our user reg entity model and we got an error list which is a warning it's not an actual error it's saying that this user reg table does not have a primary key so it's not a big issue let's close this I'm closing the output also now in this data entity model right click that one update model from database Now this time I'm choosing stored procedures and functions expand the DBO and our stored procedure name is user insert select that one click finish again right click the data entity model add new function import the stored procedure name is user insert and I'm giving the function name fun underscore user insert and the entities is a user res table click OK go to solution explorer and in the controllers folder I'm creating a new controller right click the controllers add controller I'm choosing MVC controller empty click OK the controller name is a user controller click add and in this user controller first thing I'm importing the namespace model user using the project name is MVC insert dot models now in the action result index method above I'm writing I'm adding my connection string entity which is user connection string DB entities user DB is an object name new user DB entities after adding the database entity before creating the index view page we need to build the solution otherwise we'll get an error and notice here build succeeded now we can let's close this error list and output now we can able to create index view page highlight the index method right click add view the view name index I'm leaving as it is the template I'm selecting create I'm creating a new template model class which is user underscore reg data context class user DB entities add and index.css.tml is created with a 
username control and email control let's make this input submit button insert user let's switch over to the user control again this action result index is get now I'm making copy this one paste here HTTP post in the action result user reg table name RG now here I'm adding the my database connection string entity object name which is user db dot the function underscore user insert is a method name function name rg dot the column names are username comma rg dot the second column name is a user underscore email that's it before run this program on a browser the last important thing is go to solution explorer expand the app underscore start route config.cs file open that one and notice the controller name here is a home which is a default one but our controller name is a user control let's copy this user and add here and the action which is a view page our view page is a index only so I don't need to change anything in this action let's switch over again to index.cshtml we check the output on Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code let's enter some values here username is charan email charan gmail.com before I click the insert user let's check my database table again right now in this user risk table contains zero rows now let's insert the values insert user let's check in the table the records are inserted or not start debugging sorry not that one let's execute notice here the new username charan and user email charan at gmail.com is inserted successfully in user res table that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos